Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Derminator 2. This is a derma needling machine, so you can use this instead of a derma roller. Um, I got this device January 2020, uh, so I've been using this for a little bit over two years, as it is April of 2022. I got this device uh, because I have acne scarring from when I was younger in high school and in college. Uh, for your information, I am 28, uh, so I started when I was 26. Uh, so I bought this device from ownDoc.com, and uh, so you can go to this website, then click shop. Then they have a couple other items here, but if you want to get specifically the Derm uh, Derminator 2, you'll need to go to this top category, Derma Needling. And then they have the Derminator, Derma Rollers, Derma Stamps, and then other items such as creams, vitamins, serums, masks, and silicone sheets. And the silicone sheets are good for scarring as well. But if you click on the Derminator here, uh, you can get their original Derminator. Um, and then they have the Derminator 2, which is their newer product, which is what I have. Now this device comes in a couple different options. I am personally in the United States, so I got this first option, which has the United States plug. But if you're in the, United, in the UK uh, or U Europe uh, or Australia, they have uh, plugs for those as well. The needle cartridges come in a single needle, a nine needle cartridge, a 12 needle cartridge. Um, personally, I have been using the 12 needle cartridge but I have used uh, the one needle as well. But for today's demonstration, I'm going to be using the 12 needle. So if you click on here, over on the right hand side is the price and where you can add it to the cart. Uh, it is $199 currently. So this is the Derminator 2 digital skin remodeling device itself. Um, compared to my hand, it's a fairly small device. It will come with four rubber feet that will go into the back of the device that it will stand on. And then this long cord is the element that you will plug your uh, cartridge in at the top, and I will demonstrate that. Uh, but this is what you'll put, you'll put the cartridge here, and then this is what you'll move around your face. And then here is the plug. So like I said, I'm in the United States, so I have the two prong United States cord. Uh, and then here is the on and off switch. I'm going to demonstrate how to insert the needle cartridge into the Derminator 2 uh, micro needling element. So the needle cartridge, it is this gray item here. There is a larger end where the needles come out. Like I said, I have the 12 needle system and then a smaller end which looks quite like a screw. That smaller end is what you're going to insert into the device all the way and then you're going to uh, turn it. As soon as it's turned, it's going to be secure. If you, for instance, put it in and try to turn it the other way, it's not going to uh, go anywhere. So there's only one way to secure it. You're going to want to make sure that this needling uh, element is thoroughly sanitized. You can do this by either cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol. If you have a small dish, you can leave it in there. Uh, or you can purchase uh, disinfectant or sanitizing uh, solutions from ownDoc.com as well. Once you have the needling cartridge inserted into the element, you can go ahead and plug it in. It's not going to do anything until you click the on button, which is located here. And then it's going to ask you a series of questions regarding the needle. Like I said, I have the 12 needle, so I'm going to click no. And both of these selecting items just correspond with the left and the right. Um, this says depth and this says speed, correct? But um, when you're selecting these answers, you're just going to use whichever correlates. So single needle, I'm going to select no. 9 needle, I'm going to select no. 12 needle, I'm going to select yes. Now, it is very important that you answer correctly for the needle because that is going to change the settings for how uh, the needle pushes out and you want to make sure that you are, um, you know, putting it in accurately. This timer setting is nice if you know the area of skin that you're going to be microneedling. This device knows how long you should be microneedling a certain amount of area. So if you input that, uh, the device will turn off once you have satisfied that uh, amount of time that you should be in that area. So if you want to go ahead and input it, you can use either inches squared or centimeters squared. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to put inches squared. And then um, you can change the 
length of skin here and then you click OK by choosing that blue area. And the width of skin will just increase it there and then click OK. And then if you want to turn the timer on, um, you can go ahead and click OK. So now it's going to know what area you are going to be microneedling. This device has three different speed settings, slow, medium, and fast. Uh, to demonstrate, I'm going to put a depth on, that way you can hear it. So this is slow. And this is how fast the needles are coming out of the device. Medium. And fast. And fast is obviously quite fast. <laughs> This device is able to do a large number of depths, so you'll change the depth by clicking the right hand blue button that says depth. It starts at 0.25 and if you cycle through, you can do all the way up to 2.5 millimeters. Once you have the device set to the settings that you're going to use and the needle cartridge disinfected and inserted into the element, the next step is to go ahead and microneedle. So you would place the needle cartridge onto your skin and you can use this device for a lot of different areas. Um, I personally use it for my acne scars on my face, but you can use it for wrinkling or preventing wrinkling or anti-aging on your face as well. Uh, it induces collagen, which is a great benefit, or you could use it on um, uh, scars or um, stretch marks on your belly or other areas. But when you place it to the skin, you'll want to make sure the needle cartridge is at a 90 degree angle to your skin. You don't want it to be a jar at any way because uh, that could cause tearing and the needles will not be going in at a uniform fashion. Once it's on the skin, um, you're going to want to make circular motions. And you'll do that until the timer runs out or if you don't use the timer then until the area of skin that you wanted to use is uh, complete. When using this device you'll want to use some sort of slip or serum to allow this device to glide over your skin. I personally use hyaluronic acid but you can purchase other serums directly on uh, the website owndoc.com. I'm going to show you how to use it now. So you want to disinfect the needle cartridge. Mine is disinfected. I numbed my face, I cleaned it off with soap and water, and then disinfected my face with alcohol. I also cleaned my hands. You want to make sure your hands are clean too. And then I have um, some hyaluronic acid on uh, just as slip so this can glide. So I plug it in, turn it on, and I'm going to use the speed fast. Um, for demonstrations, I'm just going to go around with 1.00 millimeters, but I do uh, use a little bit deeper on the sides of my face um, because I still do have a little bit of acne scarring but this machine has done wonders so far it's uh, really cleared up a lot of it so I'll go ahead and show you how to do it alright so we'll go forehead so you want to make sure that it is flush with your skin and go in circular motion Really want to hang out at one spot for too long uh, but this device is not going to tear away at your skin like a derma roller or uh, some of the cheaper micro needling devices will a lot of these devices you can get uh, and they're, they're from China this one is not this company is uh, the United Kingdom based company um, but they actually uh, are registered to do business in the Czech Republic, so this is not a cheap device by any means. So you just continue to do circles, and then if your face gets dry uh, in one area and it's not gliding along, you can go ahead and add some more slip or liquid to that. But you would just continue this for wherever you want treatment done. Uh, and if you go a little bit deeper, I don't know if you can see on my forehead, uh, there's a little bit of pinprick blood. Uh, but if you go a little bit deeper, there will be obviously be a little bit more blood, but um, it's not too bad. So I will go ahead and end it there. But I will include some before and after pictures to the end of this. Uh, and so like I said, you just continue on for wherever you want to go and then you can increase the depth or make it lower if you wanted to go lower depth through your eyelids 
uh, not eyelids, sorry, underneath your eyes. Uh, you wanna go a little bit deeper on the sides if you have any scarring. You can go down your neck if you have any neck wrinkles or uh, um, stretch marks or uh, scarring. This is really wonderful for that. Once you're done, then you're going to want to take off the needle cartridge and then disinfect it again for storage. Uh, and then you'd want to clean your face off as well and then put any serums on. Uh, you just wanna make sure you get the blood off and clean it up and then you can put um, any of your anti-aging serums on. Um, it also comes with earplugs. Uh, if you use it fast, uh, the fast setting, and you're in an enclosed room, uh, you might need to use those because it does get a little bit loud. Uh, otherwise, um, I mean, it's really up to you. So I did my whole face and cleaned up, put some serum on. Um, just wanted to show you the aftermath. Uh, a little bit red, uh, did a little bit of my neck. I just wanted to mention too, if you have any um, active acne, so I have a little bit right up here, you wanna stay away from there. You don't wanna go um, over it, it will spread it. Um, so that's just one other thing to look out for. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful.